What's up guys, I'm back here with episode 3 of Donkey Kong Country. And I know it's episode 3 of Donkey Kong Country, because I've tried to record this episode like three times now. That's a pretty good start. Anyway, it gives me a little time to talk about my fiasco. Anyway, so after our fiasco of the save states, and I promised not to use them, and then I totally used one, and then I got burned for it. So... In that same aspect, I was like, you know, I don't think I can really beat this game without scumming it in some fanner, manner or fashion. So what I did is I scummed it the old-fashioned way, and then I went to World 1, Level 1, and just farmed a bunch of lives. So, I mean, I guess I'm just being a scumbag, but I'm scum being a scumbag like the old-fashioned way. The way Grandma used to do it. And, well... That has a couple side effects. I had to look up the, uh, secret in that level 1 area. Just because, good lord, that level is almost impossible without that. And I learned that there was an espresso in this one. I kind of died really fast because of, like, the way the camera's situated. But, you know, I mean, it's better than me dying and losing one of my monkeys because of it. Okay. I... I really do not like World 4. Like, there's just something about it. Something about the way that, like, the cameras are designed. Something about the way that, like, the hard levels are at the beginning and then it goes to the easier levels. Like, the aquatic level in this and then, like, the squawks level in this are nothing compared to these. Squawks level hardly even lasts, like, two minutes. That, if that. So anyway, it's just all a bunch of, like, slidey platforms, a bunch of freaking camera angles that I have to just, like, sit here and wait. Like, if I'm trying to rush through it, it doesn't conceive itself very well. Ah, it's not very conducive to a good, like, quick run. And even, like, this design. Which, I mean, I'm okay with it. Because it's doable. But, it's just a pain in the butt, because... You know what, I'm going to sacrifice Donkey. Basically here. Come on, throw your thing. Oh, there's always some motherfucker trying to ice skate uphill. Ah, Croctopus Chase. Okay, let's go. This level's kind of weird to me. Like, there are a lot of dumb decisions that were made in it. And I say dumb because they literally are dumb. Like, it shows you the level, it basically goes around these croctopi, are gonna chase you, and then they're gonna hide in these little alcoves. Well, it shows you that they hide in alcoves, but then it gives you bananas there. So it tries to literally trick you into losing one of your Kongs. I'm not even, like, ten seconds into the level when it's tried to do that to me. Granted, the whole point of enemies are to try to kill you. But the whole point of game design is to be, like, conducive to you actually getting the objective done. So I really... I'm not okay with that trickery. Something I really do like about this level is the fact that just a simple color scheme change can really just change the feel of the level. Like, they didn't change the music at all. They didn't change most of the enemies. That's just a color-swapped octopus from earlier levels. And it just feels great. It feels good. Like, just everything about it. Even, like, the purposeful screen tearing on, like, the top and the bottom of the screen. Just to emulate that ripple effect. And even the level is designed around that fact. Like, you were hardly ever in the top part of the screen or at the bottom part of the screen. And when you do start to go up or down, the ripple effect goes away. So it doesn't affect you. It just affects your surroundings. And that really, like, brings a lot of immersion to me. I don't know. It's pretty nice. There's nothing... There's nothing wrong with these levels. Okay, I changed my mind. There's a lot of things wrong with these levels, but there's damn well a lot of things right. Croctopi, you can't get me. I'm Diddy. Do you not know who I am? I'm literally like the... demigod of this universe. There's nothing I can't do. I am the gorilla with a tail. There's nothing that you can do to stop me. There's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. I'm gonna get those bananas back. Those bananas for... 
I had a good, I had a good something there. Oh, well, I don't really need you, Diddy. That's fine. Okay. But what I do need is some sick balloon action. That's probably not how a balloon would interact underwater. I gotta say, it wouldn't just float there. But when have I been one to? I can't kill Croctopie. Okay. Good to know. On guard? On guard, you get back here. On guard? I'm just gonna wait. He'll be back. Any minute now. Any second now. He's not coming back, is he? On guard. Oh god. Oh god, he's gone. Oh god. What am I gonna do? Oh, Craig, he'll kill me. What? You're back! What the hell? What the hell, bruh? How could you do this to me? You're supposed to be the chosen one on guard. Everything's fine. There's no there's no melodrama here. Not on my channel, there isn't. Man. My channel. Oh, what is this? A Splatoon beta? Why are there all these squids here? Now let's be real. This isn't a Splatoon beta. Everybody would be using the roller if that were true. <laughs> oh, Greg. Topical as ever. Cranky's cabin. Yeah, Torchlight Trouble. The best animal, buddy. Squawks. So, when I'm doing this, I'm really glad I'm playing the virtual console mode. Virtual console version. Just because they patched out. Patched out something. They did something, and they changed the way the flashlight flashes. In that it won't have this big, obnoxious, like, strobe effect. It won't make the entire screen go white. I remember in the SNES version of this that that was something that happened and oh goodness it is ridiculous. Okay, Crusha? You ain't got nothing on me. See that's just the kind of fan I am of Donkey Kong Country. I don't go for high scores. I've never 101 percented this game. I've never like beat it in under 30 minutes. I just know the names of all the critters. That's the kind of man I am. Because that's the kind of man I was. Okay. Crusha, there's nothing you can do. Nothing you could say. This is happening. Another thing about Donkey, like, defeating enemies, I really like the fact that he can, like, do that. Like, they're these big, tough enemies that Diddy kind of has a lot of trouble with, and he doesn't. And then you just, like, walk right over him. Ah, oh, Candy, I have never been happier to see your beautiful face. Ah, uh, another one of these levels. Okay. This one, in my opinion, is a lot less bullshit than the other level. Because the camera, like, actually catches up with you. And they purposefully don't put hardly anything on these top platforms. Just because they want you to, like, have a good view of what's below you. They purposefully want you to see what's ahead of you. And that's that's a luxury that they didn't really take in the other level. Even then, I can just, like, bounce over these guys head first and just not give a care in the world. Get you. I don't really need that, though. I got, I got plenty of lives. Plenty of bananas. Okay. Jump the tire. Get the end. I, you always get the end, though. If anything else... Always get the end. Because reasons? Okay. Diddy, that was a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh god, Donkey, you you have to save your family, your god and your country. Your banana god and your Donkey Kong country. So here's a little trick on these. You just do it once, and you can just keep going forward. Oh! Well, I messed it up because I got the pattern wrong, but, you know, you know, typical me. Man, that armadillo ate garbage and died. Mmm, just like me. <laughs> this has been a long day. Oh, it's going to be even longer if I keep doing that. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, in my opinion, this game's difficulty, like correlates with if you have Diddy or not. Because if you have Diddy, none of this is really that scary. But if you have Donkey, 
every like little thing is scary. So scary that I couldn't even get that G because, well, I was a pansy. Couldn't do it. Okay, let's try this again. So basically you get one, and you just walk forward in that beat, and you'll always get the bonus item. Even though I'm probably not going to find any more espresso gold pieces. Probably not. That's probably jinxing myself for the best. Man, I, I really love watching that armadillo die. It's just... Oh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. God, I hate that thing. Uh, really naughty. Man, you have been a really naughty girl. And I will not stand for it. So basically, it's just a color swap enemy. But it's got this really annoying jump that you wouldn't know. You'd just think that it'd be a faster version of the other. But it has this really, like, good tracking jump. It's basically Vega from Street Fighter 2. Except, it's possible to kill this. There we go. Get, get on my level. Get on my level, really naughty. Uh. Uh, Creme Croc Industries K K I C. I like that Creme Croc Industries has the same like initials as Killer Instinct. <laughs> Something that I think came around. A little bit after this? I'm not sure. Oh, good. Oh, did he? He looked a little uh, caught up there. Beavers. So this level to me just feels infinitely better than World 4. Just even though it's harder, it just... All the camera angles just are very conducive to you seeing what's going on. And just all of the gimmicks in the stages aren't even that bad. Mmm, okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm sure. I got Diddy. Everything's okay. As long as I got Diddy. There's nothing Diddy can't do. Except, like, die. He can never die. He doesn't know how. I mean, look at this little 90s, like, monkey design. He's got the cap on. He should basically have the cap on backwards. He's got his little, like, back to the future vest on. That's not a vest, that's a shirt. Diddy's just basically the 90s personified in a monkey. And I love it. Oh god, Diddy. How could you do this to me? Okay. Oh. Mankey Kong. I think that's his name, I don't know. I think it's, it's Super Butthurt Kong. That's more like it. Oh, god dang it. Alright, jump over Trader Kong here. Judas Kong. Aw, oh, just listen to that music. It's terrific. It's probably one of like one of my favorite tracks in the game. Just stop what you're doing right now. Just just go look it up. It's great. I mm, I'm probably dead now. Man, I really like these spontaneously combusting barrels. It's really impressive that Kremcock Industries, like, invented this sustainable fuel source. Okay. Oh, okay. So it'll flare up, it'll flare up, and then it'll go down. Not like that. Didn't go down that time. Flare up. Flare up. Yeah, there we go. Please be exit. Yeah! Oh, we won, Donkey. But at what cost? Trick, trick, trick. Oh, uh, now this is a fun level. I gotta say. Basically, just put your monkeys on a supermarket cart. And there you go. That's the end of the level. You just gotta stand still. And the level beats itself. You never have to move ever again. And I don't know why all these animals are in collusion with each other. Vultures. Uh, pff, croctopi. Crocodiles. Jeez. I mean, why are they in this big coup against, like, the Donkey Kong Islanders? Better yet, I sympathize with that. What gives Donkey Kong the right to rule over Donkey Kong Island? Nope, I didn't get the O. Oh, dang. Okay. 
I really, I'm really glad that it slows down just so I get a, a good glimpse of that little bird who deserves hell. And I, Diddy Kong, will be the one to give it to him. Now basically, all you have to do is stand still. You ain't gotta move. You just gotta stand still. And all these naughties are gonna be like, hmm. Donkey. Calm down. Calm down, donkey. It's gonna be okay. So one thing about this level is I'm gonna learn really quick. Uh, there are gonna be enemies that only donkey can jump on to kill. So this might be a little stressful. Yeah, fair enough. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Goddamn this cart. Slow it down. I really like that. Even like the trams are in collusion with the... That's... That was super scary. Like, he's just there to troll you. Either that or really like came down in one iteration of the game and they just patched that out. Not patched that out, but... They changed it before release. I can get behind that. I mean, even orangutans are the... They're the worst gorillas. Okay. You. Stand back. Yeah, that's right. You better leave. And there we go. It's as simple as that. You just gotta kill this, like, Judas of a Kong by not killing him. But that's fine. Elevator antics. See, this level to me, like, at the beginning, I really like the them, like, just the thematics of this level. Because you just have a bunch of, like, indigenous animals, I can only assume, like snakes. Maybe the vultures. Maybe the vultures, no. But you just got a bunch of, like, snakes. Just, it doesn't separate itself very far from a normal cave level. And then, at around the halfway point, now these snakes are douchebags. They just come out of the woodwork at you. But just halfway through the level, it just totally metamorphosizes into like just a bunch of like exploding barrels, a bunch of like cogs, a bunch of elevators too. Ooh, I knew you were coming. I knew you were coming and you still scared me. Okay. Got to got to sneak. This is very this is very Metal Gear Kong. Diddy! 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 I haven't been funny since the day I was born. When they laughed and said it was a joke. Okay. Snake? 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 Coconut! Alright, all jokes aside, we gotta get them bananas. They're kinda cool. Just like their design in general. Everything looks really good in this game. Even things that look like crap look good in this game. Sneak. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. See, immediately as you cross over that checkpoint, everything changes in the level. Like, there are not a lot more of these, like, crevice areas. And it's all about these, like, Super Mario Brothers, like, elevator levels. And it's like if I could ride it all the way up, and then just I could get to a secret level at the top. A secret level, not a secret level, a warp pipe. That'd be nice. I wish I could just warp all the way to gorilla thing. I don't remember. Something to do with monkeys, I assure you. Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! Man, I really love killing children in this game. That's my favorite thing about it. And this is a segment that's kind of a leap of faith, but kind of like, you can see it coming beforehand. Ah, okay. And it's also a nice place where the roll jump comes in really handy. But the roll jump is never expressly taught to you. It's mostly just implied through, like, placement of areas. See, even that stretch wasn't that bad to get to candy. And if you think that candy design is bad, or horrifying. You should look at the Donkey Kong Country cartoon anime design. Anime? Anime, yeah, it's an anime. It was made in, like, Canada. That's where anime comes from. That's where Sailor Moon came from. Therefore, Donkey Kong Country the cartoon is an anime. 
Oh god. Canadian people are weird. Man, I bet it ruins your childhood to know that, like, all of the people that voiced Sailor Moon characters were, like, in their 50s when they voiced him. So, I don't know. Got a red- Oh, jellyfish! Oh, you've gotta be squidding me. Oh, no! No! Just- just tag and Diddy! Just tag and Diddy for an assist! I really like the scope of this level. Like, the other level was kind of good. They just make it a darker shade of blue. Because blue represents coal for some reason. But this level, it just... It really fits in with the just mechanical theme. Like, you're really getting into where the crocs have really taken over the island. And I like that. It looks really good. And this, like, mist effect that probably shouldn't be working underwater, but does. So it's totally fine. But this mist effect doesn't really affect the frame rate. It doesn't really, like, bring anything out. It just puts you more into the environment. It really makes you want to kill these Kremlings, because they're douchebags. These bananas should be just shriveling up immediately. Like, they shouldn't be able to survive in this condition. Well, that's just me. I've been seeing underwater bananas the entire time. I think bananas are just a way that, like, the Kong see the force. Like, how a banana trail is supposed to, like, lead you to, like, where there's land or something. See how there was an arrow of bananas right there. It's basically just the force of this universe leading the Kongs to where they need to go. Like, who's to say that they wouldn't get lost in this underwater maze without it? Who's to say? I'm not sure. Oh, God. That's basically why Diddy is so good. Because he was conceived by the Banana Chlorians. Oh, God. I gotta cut that out of the video. No, no, I don't. I don't gotta cut that out of the video. I gotta keep it in son of a bitch. Man, is that why everybody hates Diddy? Just because he revolutionized the way we think about the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy? Man, this this analogy has more, like, correlations than I thought. And I should probably stop thinking too hard, because the game's trying to kill me. We're going in... We're going in long, strong, down to get the friction on. That's basically just Diddy. In a nutshell, I did it again. Good for me. And the level's called Poison Pond. You'd really think that, like, Diddy would just immediately die upon coming in here. But, you know, they can breathe underwater for an infinite amount of time. I mean, I guess they could just breathe not poison water gas. Speaking of, like, infinite time, I really like the fact that these levels, as opposed to, like, Mario, aren't... aren't timed. It really just lets you sink in, like, the puzzles of the area, and it really lets you sink in, like, all of the different designs in the background. They look really good. I mean, they may look aged to today, but they look really good. I'm gonna sacrifice Donkey. Just, just on principle. I didn't mean to immediately kill him, I just wanted to be the scapegoat. God damn it. Diddy, Diddy is basically Anakin Skywalker, if you think about it. And then you've got, like, big Ben Obi-Wan Kong. Obi-Kong Kenobi. Yeah, there we go. And then they take him to, like, Master Cranky. And they're like, oh, he's got even more banana chlorians than Cranky. Ugh. Ah, uh, bananas. You must. Mmm. -hmm. That's a very good Yoda impression. And by very good, I mean... Just shut me up. Just put the cane on the stage and just... Take, take me out. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna move really slowly so these, like, red snappers don't immediately, like, wreck my face. Are they red snappers? They're not red snappers. They're piranhas that have just mosily walk on by. Or trout. They could be trout. I say that they're fish. If you ask me. MLG. Look at all this dank water. Oh, it's just smoking weed every day. Got nothing to do. All these fish are just walking by because they're high. Donkey came out of the barrel. He's like, oh, you ruined my weekend buzz, bro. Oh, God. I really screwed the pooch on that one. Oh, my God. 
Ooh, ooh, okay. Close calls. Close calls in the Mushroom Kingdom. This isn't the Mushroom Kingdom, god damn it. Okay, we're home free. We're home free. We got nothing. Nothing can stop us now. Kitty, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go really slowly. This is. Damn it! This is really something. It's probably the, like, tensest part of the game. Oh, it's so scary. Okay, there are some that just go at slow speeds, but, like, zone you out. And there are some that just rush at you. Ooh. Now, if it feels like I'm laming out this part and just extending the LP, I kind of am. Mostly because I don't want to die. I would love to not die here. I would love to die, like, a, be in a banana coma. That'd be great. That's the way... Donkey never thought it would end that way, but he always hoped. Poison Pond, let's go. Minecart Madness. There's nothing mad about this level. In my opinion, this level, like, it kind of tr tricks you a little bit, just because of the new mechanics. Because this level, you jump out of the minecart. Which, you know, is kind of annoying and kind of misleading for some other places. Because how am I supposed to know? The game has conditioned me hard enough with the last minecart level that whenever I see a big gap, I immediately jump over it. Like, I... I don't know. Maybe some people's IQ is smart enough to figure that out on the first time, but it's kind of a death mechanic for me. Also, did you know that I'm pro as fuck at this level? Buh! Even though gods bleed sometimes. No, they don't. That's a lie. Gods don't bleed. That's, like, the definition. Maybe that's why Diddy doesn't bleed. The only thing he bleeds is, like, red, white, and yellow. Because he's a true-blooded, patriotic, Donkey Kong Islander. There you go. KG. The KGB. And this level, to me, just feels easier, actually, than the other level. I don't know what it is about it. That, and I really like the mass genocide of critters that it lets you perform. These critters are just sitting there. Sitting there, you gotta hijack... Just Grand Theft Kong. Uh, San Andreas. Vice. The Vice to Meet You missions. And there we go, it's as simple as that. There's nothing left to say except goodbye. So this level is pure terror. There is nothing funny about this level. This level, like... Oh my goodness, you can hardly see like the yellow cautionary bits that are like everywhere. But just like the only thing you can like possibly see. And I really do like that. It fits thematically with the fact that it's like a construction area. Not a construction area, but like a, a biohazard like... Okay, I was infinitely rolling. I didn't know how I did that. Everything requires patience. Something that I have very little of. Oh god. How was I supposed to see that? Probably with patience. Something that I'm really good at. I'm really good at patience. Oh! Okay, I mean, it's just making me scared. I want to jump every time the lights turn off. Ugh. It's amazing how the human brain can be just conditioned to do something like that. Alright, Diddy. Trust your instincts. Use the banana force. Oh god, see? I was psychic. I knew they were coming. I could hear them with my turtle beaches. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man, Diddy's roll is so much better. Tire, tire, tire. Okay. Perfect. I don't know what that was. Oh, a Kong letter. Okay. I can live with that. Ah! Okay, all jokes aside, there's one rope that is, like, stationary, and then there's another rope that, like, moves, which, that's kind of... That's kind of unfair. But just kind of unfair. Okay, banana. I couldn't actually see those bananas in the dark! Ugh. My banana knows what you did in the dark! That's how the song goes. I mean, ooh. Okay. Whew. Whew. I got... I got bongs of steel. Bongs of steel? I meant to say balls. But it came out as ball kong. I mean kong balls. There we go. Follow the banana force, donkey. You know it to be true. 
Ooh, okay. More enemies in the dark. Perfect. Now we have... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, hmm? Nothing could stop me now. Nothing will ever stop me. Not even you, Judas. Oh god, you stopped me, Judas. Okay, please. Oh, that's a scary sight. <laughs> Cog. KOG. Perfect. Alright, here we go. I actually really like this boss. Just because I think they were kind of like running out of ideas. And they just had to. Like, had to come up with something. Ah, uh, I take that back. They weren't really like running out of ideas. They just like. They have, like, a big boss version of, like, every enemy in the game. And the oil drum is, like, more dangerous than, like, the snake, I guess. Because it's, like, an infinite a number of, like, enemies that can come out of it. Even this one has a finite amount of enemies that come out of it. So, I don't know. It's a little less dangerous, I guess. Alright, Klungo. There's nothing you can do. His name isn't Klungo. His name is, uh, General K. Patton. Oh god. It, it knows. It knows that armadillos are like the most dangerous. So it sends them last. Yeah, that's what you get for acting to Mickey, Virginia.